I hope you're having a great day today. So today I decided to film this really simple makeup look. We're getting into the semester finally. We are about a month in and I know for me personally there are some days I wake up and I just do not feel well but by doing a little bit of makeup it sort of wakes me up and gets me ready for the day. So this is my if you're not feeling too well but you still have things that you want to do this is a nice simple look to get you through your day and a little bit about this hairstyle. I hope you enjoy this video so let's just get right into it. So you know those mornings when you wake up and you just do not feel well? Yeah, that's how I've been feeling recently. So I was trying to think about what I could do as a tutorial to show how to make you feel better. And this is what I came up with. So starting off, I have my giant mug of tea because this always makes me feel better in the morning. And this happened to be peppermint tea, so it was amazing. And starting off, you wanna make sure that your skincare is really great, especially on days when you're not feeling well because hydrating your face is step one to making yourself feel great so after moisturizing and everything i use the nivea men's sensitive post shave balm because it's moisturizing and tightening and very lightweight now going in i'm mixing two foundations this is the essence um naked weightless essentially and then the Rimmel London Match Perfection. Um, it's a sheer foundation with a medium to full coverage and this way I'm getting the coverage on my skin that I need but I'm also not really feeling anything on my skin. The Essence foundation literally feels like nothing and by adding the Rimmel London I'm just getting the coverage that I want in less product. So starting I put it on with my Real Techniques full coverage foundation brush and then I start packing it in with a beauty blender to just smooth it out and smooth out any lines and get it looking more like skin. Moving on to concealer, of course I'm using the NYX HD concealer and starting off I'm using the shade 01. This is the shade closest to my skin so I'm using this under my eyes on any spots that I have around my nose to cover redness and this is the covering foundation so anywhere that I have imperfections that I want to cover this is what I'm using and then I go into the places that I want to highlight and I'm using the shade 02 because it's a little bit more brightening and this way it'll brighten up the center of my face and under my eyes and then just going in with a beauty blender to blend all of that out. And then we're going to set the under eyes, so I'm taking my Airspun loose powder and rather than baking under the eyes, I'm more going to take that powder and really set my under eyes. So making sure that I'm getting that powder nice and smooth over many areas that crease and this is just going to brighten the under eye and set it so that it doesn't crease as well. I am going to bake the center of my face and put just a little bit of extra powder on my under eyes as baking just in case there's any fallout from eyeshadow or anything. But other than that, it's just making sure that I'm setting my face. And now for brows, so that I do a little bit of a softer look, I'm going to be taking eyeshadow from this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. I'm taking these two matte colors that I'm pointing to, and I'm taking them on this angled brush by Morphe. I believe it is a 35B. I will double check for you. Sorry, I'm yawning. Um, and I'm just filling in my brows nice and gently, rather than using the dip brow, which gives a little bit more of like a painted look, I guess. This is a little bit softer and more natural looking. And I'm not doing anything too crazy on the eyes, I just want to set my eyes because I did put concealer on there, so I'm just taking this white ivory shade and putting that all over my lid up to my brow bone. And now to brush away the bake, I'm just taking the lighter shade in my Wet n Wild Contouring Duo, and this is a setting powder essentially, a highlighting powder, and it helps brush away the bake. I like to use it for a lot of different things. I think it works really well because it is pretty much the same color as my skin. Um, I do try and keep it to the highlighting areas though because it is technically a highlighting powder, so to speak. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm taking the Too Faced sketch marker that comes in the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup collection, and I don't know, there's just something about a wing that does make me feel a little bit better, maybe because it feels like I'm doing a glam look, even though I'm not feeling so glam on the inside. So I just gave myself a little baby wing, and I think I managed to get it all on camera, so I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs>
then moving on to mascara, I'm just taking my Harman's Eyelash Curler and my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I have been loving this. You know I love it. It is great. It makes my lashes so full and look fluffy, and I'm able to use it on my top and bottom lashes. Now I don't really want to contour my face today so I'm just taking this big kabuki brush by Dior and my Wet n Wild contouring duo and I'm just going to use this to warm up my face and give it a little bit more of dimension. Um, usually when I'm not feeling well I just look a little pale and flatter and this way I give myself more dimension into my face. And then for blush, I want to go in with a little bit more of a natural color, so using my Morphe 9B blush palette, I'm mixing these two shades. I'm putting the darker one on my brush first, and then the lighter one, and I'm keeping this mainly towards the backs of my cheeks, and then just putting a little bit on the apples of my cheeks to give myself a little bit more color and dimension as well. And then of course I have to highlight, so going into my sleek highlighting palette, I'm taking this shade right here, which is not showing up because the packaging is just too beautiful that the light can't handle it. Um, I believe it's called Eclipse, and it's this warmish, icy highlight. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, but it's just really beautiful, and I don't feel like it's too intense. Um, I didn't want a beaming highlight today, just something to give a little bit of a glow to the skin so that I'm feeling awake and like I'm refreshed, even though on the inside I feel like I'm dying. And now for the hardest choice in my makeup look, what lip color? I have no idea. I wanted to keep it on the natural side, so I literally took these two colors and played with them in front of my face until I settled on the sleek Berry Burst uh, Lip Plumping Crayon. I love this color, it's great, and with the simple look, I wanted something a little bit darker on my lips. And now for hair, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I thought I might have wanted to put it up in a bun, but then I decided I didn't really like how that looked, so I just decided to go for a half, a half up, half down, with the half up part really high and bouncy, so to give myself a little bit of height in my hair and make me feel a little bit more awake. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Also down below is my social media, so go ahead and follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday, and now that we're getting into October for Halloween, I will hopefully be keeping my uploads twice a week, and I might have a couple bonus um, videos in there too, so make sure you're subscribed so you get those notifications. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!